Hey, what's up guys? So as I settled down here in New Jersey and uh, I found a sublease place and uh, the landlord is very nice. And uh, so currently she have the Optum, uh, Optimum internet service. I guess it's a cable TV uh, combined with internet. So I'm gonna do a speed test for you guys to see what the uh, speed for the Optimum internet is. And uh, so the reason I'm doing this is because I'm, I just called Verizon and uh, to have them come over and install their fiber optic internet service. And which is, uh, I, I mean, I personally need fiber optic because I, I do lots of uh, YouTube video uploading and the file size are usually very large. Um, and this kind of uh, uploading speed is, is just not gonna cut it. So again, the speed test is for optimum cable internet and uh so basically she have the 20 meg download and 5 meg up and uh this is probably one of the uh entry level package that the cable internet service provider have and um um i'm sure they have other tiers that's that gives you a much faster download speed but in terms of upload speed the cable is just not gonna cut it the upload uh, I remember for my old cable service back in Miami, uh, Atlantic Broadband, I think the maximum is like only 50 meg. So for the Verizon files that I'm getting, the download speed is 200 meg, upload speed is also 200 meg, which is blazing fast for anything. For content creators, it's, it's pretty much a must uh, to have in your home. Um, so I'm doing this speed test and then in a little bit, Verizon Tech is already here installing the lines. When we set up everything, we're gonna do a speed test uh, of the Verizon files and comparing the two uh, speed over here. So I'll keep you guys posted and see you in a little bit. All right, so just showing you guys the cable TV setup. This is, I think, the router. Actually, this is a cable box. Um, and then the cable box comes over here. Uh, this is the actual router uh, from the Optimum. And if you look on the back, of course, the router has got a couple ports, a USB, and the yellow line is where the internet, the wireless WAN is connected, you know, to your home. So this, is Wi-Fi en enabled and and the test results you saw previously uh, is through this little router okay so I'm gonna show you guys the brand new Verizon router okay so this is a brand new Verizon fiber optic router not the router the switch um, ONT uh, optic network something I don't know um, this is a model number uh, which is 1211ML. And so you can see this is where the fiber optic is coming in. So the technician came over and just drilled a small hole through the wall and got the fiber optic right to the switch. Um, over here is the, um, the Ethernet cable. So this cable goes to the actual wireless router that the Verizon was recommending, which is their own brand of G1100. So I bought this actually uh, on the internet. And uh, I, so I don't have to pay a very expensive rental fee uh, from Verizon. And they're actually right now advertising their brand new G3300 router, which is a very fast um, ethernet, uh, very fast Wi-Fi router. But you probably don't really need it because this one is already fast enough, okay? So uh, the model number of this one is G1100. Um, there are two versions, one with the Verizon logo in the center and another one is, which is this one, with the Verizon logo kind of dark over here etched onto the plastic. So this is the newer one. However, there's absolutely no difference in performance of both routers. So both of them can perform perfectly fine. Uh, if you just have the Verizon internet service. Okay, so this is a wireless router. 
from Verizon and this is a switch from Verizon. And next we're gonna go over to my MacBook Pro and do a really quick uh, speed test and check out what a difference there is between the fiber optic internet and your everyday cable internet. Okay, we're back. So I'm connected to my Fios uh, wireless router on my MacBook Pro. And by the way, this MacBook Pro is uh, already five or six years old. So this is not a brand new model, but we're just gonna see if it's still up to the task and could it utilize the full potential of the wireless router and the internet speed that, you know, I sign up for. Okay, let's start. And remember, I'm signing up for the 200 meg down, 200 meg up plan. And actually Verizon is very generous. They're giving me a 300 down speed. That's a 300 megab megabits per second download speed. And let's check out the upload speed once it starts. Oh my God. Oh, okay. It's so fast that it didn't even display. So um, the upload speed is crazy, 288 megabits per second. And if you saw the previous uh, speed test from the Optum, Optimum, it's pretty pathetic. Okay. So that's a reason I recommend everybody go to fiber optic internet because this is really the best way to go. And the cost is actually exactly the same, exactly the same compared to the cable, uh, which was the uh, 20 meg down and five meg up. And uh, so obviously you saw the difference. And uh, again, I'm not paid by those companies to, you know, advertise and praise how good they are, but the actual performance is right here. Uh, and this is, uh, you know, this is a fiber optic uh, internet that I use. And I would recommend absolutely this over the, traditional cable internet. Okay, so if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below and I'd be happy to answer uh, all those questions for you guys. So at the very end, uh, let's just do a, another speed test, make sure this is not a, a fake advertised speed. Okay, so I'm gonna go to uh, speedtest.net, which is usually my go-to. And I hit go. Uh, let's test again. So again, as you can see, it has become Verizon and uh, the provider is Spectrum, I guess. Crazy fast. So this is uh, this is uh, their lowest tier plan for the fiber optic, 200 meg download, 200 meg upload. And again, why the upload speed is important if you do a lot of video content creating and you upload to the YouTube, um, you need a fast upload speed. Otherwise your video is gonna take days to actually upload um, onto YouTube, okay? And wow, very, very, very fast. And this is a five-year-old MacBook Pro, very old MacBook Pro. So it can still utilize the full speed. Again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.